In this experiment, we're going to look at the effect of rennet on different milk samples. So, I've already added one milliliter of rennet. Okay, so rennet is a solution that causes the milk to curdle, it causes it to set. And what we've done is put one milliliter into each of the test tubes. I'm going to add the different milk types into each one, and then I'm going to transfer them to the water bath at 37 degrees. Once they're in the water bath, I'm going to start the timer, and we're going to record how long it takes for each of our milk samples to clot. So, equal volumes of milk into each one. So this is our full fat. This one is our semi-skimmed. And then we're going to pop the skimmed milk into this one. And then I'm going to transfer it to the water bath. So the samples are now in the water bath. So you can see at the moment we're very liquidy. As you would expect, we'll just pop the milk in. And the same there. So what we'll do is I'll keep an eye on those. And then I will show you when there are any changes. My stop clock is running. So at the moment we have got... 31 seconds on the clock. Okay, so if we do a wee kind of check in, about kind of three minutes, you can see this one it's starting, it's not quite as liquidy as it was. That's our full fat, our semi skimmed, a little bit thicker, and the skimmed the least of them all. Check again in another wee minute or so and see how they're getting on. So if we check as we're getting close to four minutes, you can see that that one's actually not as liquidy as it was. It's starting to go. Same skimmed. Again, a little bit thicker than it was. And our skimmed. Still reasonably liquid-like. So we have a look at the full fat one now. You can actually see that it has started to clot. So if I run a little bit down, you can see that that's no longer liquid. We've got lots of solid parts to it. So it has started to clot and that's happened around the five minute mark. So in terms of seconds, I am then five minutes and there's obviously 60 seconds in each one, five sixes. There's 300 seconds it's taken for that one to clot. If we have a look at the semi-skimmed, you can actually see that that one has also clotted. It's taken that just that little bit longer. Um, and that's kind of happening at kind of five and a half minutes. So 330 seconds. And if we have a look at the semi-skimmed one, nope, that's not the one we're supposed to be looking at. We're supposed to be looking at the skimmed. So still not clotted to the same extent but you can see that it's starting to go um, but not forming as thick a consistency but it has started to clot and that's happened around the six minute mark so 360 seconds so in terms of results if you're looking for a results table milk sample a which is our full fat has taken 300 seconds Milk sample B, which is our semi-skimmed, is 330. And milk sample C, which is our skimmed milk, has taken 360 seconds.